Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is Eisenerz and as you know, community building is something that's very important to me. I'm not a tournament grinder by any means, but I try to be active in the community and help out wherever I can. One project I'm involved in is the well-known CDH decklist database or simply the DDB. The DDB is an online resource that analyzes, organizes and archives CDH decklists. Our goal is to be a resource for new players to find viable deck lists, informative primers and supportive Discord communities. However, the DDB is not only for new players but also for veteran players, so that they can find some examples of widely played decks, understand their strategies better and how and where to start for a personalized brew of some specific commander or strategy. The DDB is a respected and well-maintained resource for the community and in order to keep it that way, there's a very strict process to get a decklist onto the DDB. With the growing recognition as a community resource and the absurd rate at which Wizards produces new commanders, a ton of new decks get submitted to the DDB between every update. Of course, only a fraction of those lists make it onto the DDB. So let's have a quick look at how the selection process looks like. First of all, every list has to be submitted through the website be 100% legal to play, have a description and be non-budget. If these requirements are met, each and every list will be reviewed by a team of hand-picked and tested reviewers, one of which is me. As reviewers, our job is to analyze and understand a deck strategy and evaluate the card choices in order to decide whether or not a deck list is of valuable addition to the CDH decklist database or not. Some reasons to get rejected at this stage is that a decklist is just too similar to an already existing decklist on the CDH decklist database. Another reason is that a list is missing staples that we think should definitely be played in that deck. The chosen commander is an objectively worse choice to an already established CDH commander or that we agree that a commander or strategy is just not strong enough or relevant enough to be featured on the DDB. In order to provide the fairest assessment possible with a reasonable workload for everyone involved, every decklist gets reviewed by at least two reviewers. If the first two reviewers disagree, a third reviewer will weigh in and write an additional review on the decklist. Finally, the DDB managers will get together, read each and every review and decide whether or not a decklist will be added to the decklist database main page or the Brewers Corner. Of course, this isn't an exact science and a lot of brewers will disagree with our assessments and feel mistreated if their deck gets rejected. It is important to understand though that our goal is to maintain a valuable resource for the community and not be some sort of honor badge for individual brewers. That is why we are very strict with our reviews, decide against a list if we are in doubt and usually do not negotiate with brewers once their list got rejected. However, we definitely try to be as fair as possible we provide feedback on rejected lists and there is always the option to resubmit a list for the next cycle. Anyway, rejection always feels bad and that's totally understandable. If you put time and effort into a decklist and a primer and your decklist or primer get rejected but someone else gets accepted, that's a bad feeling. I understand that because I've been there. But it is important to not take that personally. Unfortunately though, one of the most common responses we get whenever a decklist gets rejected is that we are biased and there is a lot of nepotism involved in the selection of decklists for the DDP. To that I can only say that we are all human and none of us is perfect. Everyone has a bias to some degree, but we try to be as professional as possible and we try to respect the integrity of the decklist database. And also, every decklist gets reviewed by at least two reviewers. Concerning the accusation of nepotism, I want to point out that reviewers are not allowed to review their own lists or lists they were actively involved in. They can also not review lists of close friends or community members they are actively involved with. If something like that happens, those individuals will be removed from the reviewer team because they do not respect the integrity of the decklist database. Additionally, submitted lists of reviewers are always reviewed anonymously. So that you as a reviewer never know who reviewed your decklist and so that our decisions are not influenced by our personal relationships. So even if you might feel treated unfairly, keep in mind that we do our best to treat everyone the same and with respect. We are doing this in our personal free time because we love the format and want to do something important for the community. And also, not getting your decklist on the DEB doesn't mean that it's bad or non-competitive. 
It's just not something that we see fit for the DDB at this point. I personally know tons of players and brewers who don't have a single list on the DDB, but play their very own lists very successfully. So don't get too upset if your list doesn't get accepted to the DDB, just try to focus more on the positive things the DDB can provide for the community. With that out of the way, let's now talk a little bit more about the lists that do get accepted onto the main page of the DDB. These lists are considered to be competitively viable, relevant to the community, well built and well maintained. As a new player, you can basically check for any commander you find interesting, any color identity or any strategy you find interesting, and you will most likely find a deck list, a primer and a discord community to get started with CDH. Do you like mono green? You can simply click the icon and find some mono green CDH deck list that you can start playing with. Do you like five color decks? Click the icons and choose one of the decks that suits you. Turbo Norse, mid range, combos, stacks, evolution. There are a lot of different decks to choose from and the community members will help you find the right deck list for you. But what if you are already an experienced player? Why would you use the DDB then? It's easy. In order to be up to date. The DDB can help you understand your opponent's decks better and fine tune your decks to fit your meta perfectly. But you can also find established deck lists that you can just copy and play in order to explore more new commanders or strategies. It is just a super good place to find new decks, interesting combos, understand people's deck building choices better, learn new things to improve your own deck and so much more. I find myself clicking through a bunch of lists every now and then, and every time I find something new that benefits me as a player or brewer. And like I said before, the CDH decklist database isn't an authority on what is good or viable, or how a certain deck should definitely look like. There are plenty of variations that can be made to established CDH decklists that will help them perform better in certain metas or give them a new angle that is unique to a certain decklist. I personally like to view the decklists on the CDH decklist database as sort of CEDH precons. They are definitely CDH viable and will be able to compete at random CDH pods, but eventually you will gain an understanding of your deck and your meta that will make it necessary for you to make some changes to the decklist, tweak it in some sort of way to make it perfect for you. And that's it. If you want to dive deeper into the CDH decklist database, you can find a link to the actual website and the Discord community in the description box down below. And definitely make sure to also check out the Brewers Corner to find some promising new and experimental deck lists. Thank you for watching my video. Hop over to my Discord server if you want to play some games with us. If you want to support my channel even more and want to help it grow, please consider becoming a patron. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also leave a comment on what is your favorite deck list on the CDH decklist database. This is Eisenerz and off he does it.